welcome back we continue with our 2014 november paper okay so this is question uh, five it gives you this so uh, this this seems uh, like messy so you're dealing with um uh, two by two matrices and you have three of them so it seems messy and when you look at the we didn't we didn't actually load the the number of marks here but then imagine they are telling you that they are going to give you only one mark to determine you but then you have to work out this whole thing so sometimes you have to be paranoid and think there has to be a shorter way the, that I can get this because they are actually going to give you just a mark for the answer only it's most likely like that okay so here yeah, this is uh, a shorter way I'm discussing the shorter way if you want to go the longer way then you actually have to solve for the whole uh, system uh, of, um, of matrices okay but then in the shorter way you can just inspect where is u u is on this particular element here so you can just inspect for those elements so here for example it be 4 and then u here and then negative 18 the risky part about this is that you actually have to consider negative 2 here these are called um, uh, the, the scalars okay so this is color multiplication the scalars you have to consider them so this is how you do it if you want if you were to save our uh, time if you want to use another way just use the other way and then see if we'll get the same answer okay we should be able to get the same answer so by inspection you can say by inspection here it's still fine so your, your exam your the person will be inspection yeah the person will be marking your paper they will know so here you, you say four then you get negative two here for the scholar okay so negative two is multiplying you here okay so it's equal to you it's equal to you 18 negative 18 rather okay so we this part that's how you're going to simplify them anyway but then this one it just gets you directly to these elements we don't need them these elements we don't need to simplify them okay so here you actually get um, yeah i'm going to transpose uh this negative 2 to this part here so it becomes positive 2 i'm also going to transpose this one to this part here don't do it in two stages because you won't get any marks for this okay you just waste your time so this one it's it's uh, 22 is equal to 2 u and you just divide by by 2 here then you get u is equal to you uh sorry then you divide by by 2 here okay so you divide both sides by 2 then you get u equal to 11 then that's it okay so you didn't even take a minute oh, i had to explain so that's why it was a bit long but then for you 30 seconds and you're done okay so in the next part just pause this video and then see if you can uh, figure out using the same method if you can uh, get the, the same answer as me okay so here we're going to inspect which one this part here this part here this part here so it'd be 10 is equal uh, 10 minus 2 okay 10 then minus 2 multiply by minus 1 here okay so 10 minus 2 applied by minus 1 it's equal to what it's equal to v so here v is equal to uh 10 then minus and minus you get plus so 10 plus 2 so i actually get uh v is equal to this one is 12. okay write your v's properly rearranging then you get uh v equal to 12 here just write them properly okay I'm not my handwriting is not very good so that's it for this question and uh the b part the b part asks you to find the determinant of a matrix so how do you do that how do you find the determinant of a, of a matrix you uh just simply so you you simply uh multiply the elements in this diagonal in the first diagonal so the first diagonal is the diagonal with the first element okay so the diagonal with the first element when we mean diagonal we mean this part here okay so the product of this part is uh, what we need to uh, get first, okay? So I advise you again, always use brackets. It goes a longer way. So you get 10, then multiply by 2 for the first diagonal. There's a negative that's always there in the formula for determinant, okay? So you put that. And then after you put that, you put these ones in brackets as well. These ones are especially critical to put in brackets. If you make it a good practice, then you won't go wrong because sometimes there are negative signs there. They can be hard to process, okay? So here you can get, uh, this one would be 20, 20 minus, minus 12, then 20 minus 12, you simply get what? You simply get 8, okay? So you can put equal signs here in a straight line just to make your stuff neat. But then this one is essentially what you get uh, is a determinant, okay? We're going to move over to the next question. I think it's question 6. So question 6 says uh, the product of uh, a number is uh, number K and um, 15 is um, uh, 105, okay? So they are telling you this is a weird problem. 
So you have uh, the product the product of K and 15. What's that product? That product is 15K essentially. And then you're told that this one, uh, it's, it's equal to 105. And then you're asked to find K. So just simply divide, that's how we get rid of 15. Since it's, since 15K means 15 multiplied by K. Okay, so you get uh, 105 here divided by 15. If you don't um, think that 15 is a fake take, you can actually just uh, straight up step by by five. So you can say five into 15, then you get um, you get three here, then five into this, then you get two, then five into this, then you get one, okay? So 21 divided by, by three, then you just get seven straight up, okay? So uh, some of these questions, you can actually just test them straight up when, when you're, when you are, finished with your exam. So don't do it afterwards, after just finishing the this part, but then just clear off the questions, all of them first. And then when you come back, what you do, instead of checking if I have done the correct thing, just take seven and say, okay, if my number is seven here and I have uh, another number 15, do I really get uh, 105? Okay, so this is an aside. So you would say 15 times what times seven and then see if you'd get 205 here. So here would be 35. So uh, 5k 3 here then this one will be 7 then 7 plus uh, 3 then you get 10 here so exactly so this is some sort of validation so this is how you verify okay so uh, the the second part says all that okay so 7 uh, x squared they're saying factorize completely plus 12 x minus 7 okay so they want you to factorize this expression so it's called an expression it's not an equation the reason it's not an equation is that you don't see any cosine there so what you do is um, you first have to ascertain what's called the product. Okay, so the product is um, uh, 28, so uh, four times seven here. Okay, so it's actually negative 28, but then the way, the way that I always explain it to my students is that just say 28, uh, forget the negative, okay? So 28 will be equal to, we have what's called a base combination. The base combination will be 28 by one. So what you're looking for is um, you're looking for other combinations that are such that they would give you 12 if you were to add them or subtract them in some way, okay? So here, 28 here, I can choose to divide 28 since it's ending in eight, I can choose to divide by two. Okay, so I actually get 14. If I divide this one by two, uh, I have to multiply this one by two. That's how I maintain balance. So this one you get, you get two. So my factors are just 14 and two. Uh, yeah, you won't be able to appreciate the um, value of this method. But then when you're dealing with really, really, really big numbers, sometimes you can, you can be, get like really hectic just finding those factors. This is how you do it. If these were not the factors, then we'd have to simplify again and say, okay, I'm going to uh, use two again here. And then I get seven. I'm going to multiply by two. Since I divide this one by two, I multiply the other one by two. Okay, so this one before. So I keep on going and then keep on checking. So here to get plus two, plus 12, to get plus 12, so to get 12, I actually have to say 14 minus minus two. So 14 minus two, that's, uh, uh, you get you get 12. So if you multiply them, you also get negative uh, 28, which is good, okay? So you can just ignore the signs first and then do, and then you come back and then see uh, what comes off of it. So the way that um, you would have to do it uh, is all this hustle here, it was to find two numbers that we can replace 12x with, two terms rather. So two terms, it's, it would be 14x minus 2x. 14x minus 2x, you simply get 12x. This is the reason why we, uh, why we do all this. Okay, so minus seven here. So here we're going to uh, factorize. We're going to factorize such that our brackets, they're, they're, they're similar. Okay, so they're, they're the same, they're identical. So here, uh, the highest common factor for the first two numbers is just two x. So here you get two uh, x, then uh, plus what? Plus seven. Okay, so 2x into 14x, uh, x and x cancel, then 2 into 14, then you just get 7. Here we're supposed to match this bracket, so we're actually supposed to uh, factor out the negative. If we factor out the negative, you can say factor out negative 1, it's still fine. Okay, so if you want, you can even write 1 here, but then if you can just leave it like that, it's still fine still. Okay, so you get uh, 2x plus plus 7. Negative and negative, you get positive here again. So here we have matched our brackets. This is a validation. If you're working out uh, factorization people on they don't expect you to use uh, maybe uh, you know quadratic formula or anything like that that's for uh, actually like computing the answer for for 
uh, quadratic expressions. But then here, they don't expect you to do that. They expect you to get the factors. So just be assured that the factors are actually there. You just have to find them. So here, we have matched these brackets. We simply factor out these brackets here, this common bracket here. If we factor out this common bracket, we get 2x here. So this one into this one, you are simply left with 2x. This one into this one, you're simply left with negative 1. Okay. So in other words, if you want, you can just put this bracket, this common bracket here. Then the coefficients, they actually make their own bracket here. And then you have done well. Okay. When you're revising, what do you do exactly? You just come back here. Don't look at your working. Okay. So if uh, you're just too close to C, you won't be able to figure it out. So when you're revising, ignore everything. Just take this expression here. So uh, 2x plus 7. This is how you revise. Then 2x minus 1. You revise after you're done. Okay. So here, just take 2x. Then you expand. You see what comes off of it. Okay. So plus 7. Then 2x minus 1. Okay. So here you get uh, 4x squared. Then minus uh, 2x. Then plus uh, what here? 14x, right? Then minus what? Minus 7. Then you get uh, 4x squared, then plus uh, 12x, then minus 7. This one is exactly what we started out with. So this is how you, you validate your, your answer. Okay, so this is how you verify. So yeah, that's just about it. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do. And uh, make sure you like, share um, the videos as well. It helps others uh, find our channel. Okay, so thanks so much for watching to the end. I'll catch you in the next video. You both.